Okay, so typically the graph of the velocity of enzyme activity versus the substrate concentration makes a, a curved uh, logarith logarithmic line, and uh, that's based on the nature of the equation, V equals V max times the substrate concentration over Km plus the substrate concentration. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to turn that into a straight line uh, so it's a little bit easier to interpret. Now we know that a straight line follows the equation of y equals mx plus b. And so if we can get that into this format, then we can have a straight linear line to graph out all of the points of the enzyme kinetics. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a, a reciprocal. This is called the Linweaver-Burke graph. Uh, it's also sometimes called the double reciprocal. So we're going to take the reciprocal of both sides, which would make that 1 over the velocity is equal to the Michaelis constant plus the substrate concentration divided by V max times the substrate concentration. Now because the numerator of this equation is a plus, what we can do is we can break it out as long as we have the same denominator. So we'll go ahead and write it out like that. It's equals Km over V max times the substrate concentration plus slide this all over, plus uh, the substrate concentration over the max times the substrate concentration. And now you'll notice that um, the substrate concentration is represented on both sides of this, so we can just uh, cancel it out. And what we'll get is that uh, 1 over V is equal to Km over V max times the substrate concentration plus 1 over V max. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to break out this to be a multiplication of a fraction. So what I mean by that is, uh, what I mean by that is we will take 1 over V is equal to Km over V max times, times 1 over the substrate concentration plus 1 over V max. And now you'll notice that we have the format of y equals mx plus b. And now if we graph all of that out, we can get that, we, we would graph it like this. This would be 1 over the velocity, and down here would be 1 over the substrate concentration. And we would get something that would look kind of like this. A straight, it would be a straight line. And the first thing I want to point out is that the the intercept right here, where x equals 0, is going to be equal to 1 over v max. So you can easily calculate v max by finding uh, the intercept and taking the reciprocal of it. Uh, the second thing I want to point out is that if you find the x-intercept right here, it has relevant meaning as well, and I'm going to show you why. So we're talking about the x-intercept. The x-intercept is found whenever you set the y equal to 0. In this case, 1 over v. If we set it equal to 0, then we can derive um, what our x-intercept would be. So uh, the first thing you do is we're going to subtract over 1 over v max, and you get km over v max times 1 over s, 1 over the substrate, is equal to negative 1 over v max. Next thing is we're going to uh, we're going to multiply over the substrate concentration. So what we get is that uh, Km over V max is equal to the negative substrate concentration over V max, and then lastly we can multiply over the V max, and you're going to see that it's going to cancel out. So the Km equals negative substrate concentration times V max over V max. This cancels out and you get that Km is equal to the negative substrate concentration whenever Y equals zero. So our X value is actually one over the substrate concentration in here. So you see that Km, Km is equal to is equal to the one over x, negative 1 over x. Or another way to put it is that your x value is equal to negative 1 over km 
at the x-intercept. So the x, the x-intercept, more specifically, is equal to negative 1 over km. So again, to graph that out, we would, we would have 1 over the velocity, and down here we'd have 1 over the substrate concentration, and we would get a line that would look like this, and at the x intercept or at the y intercept we have 1 over v max and at the x intercept we have negative 1 over km now k